Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to emulate Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops on your computer. Um, most of the uh, videos I tried to find on this game are like seven, eight years old. Some of them are about this game's bigger brother, Peace Walker, and most of them are just gameplay. No, it doesn't show any settings or or any of the uh, or how to increase the uh, FPS because this game naturally runs at 20 and that was the biggest thing I wanted it to run at 30 or 60 so the first thing you're gonna want is to get the emulator PPSSPP download and I just downloaded the zip and extracted it to my desktop right here I'll open that when you first open yours, it's just going to be an empty screen. The game's not going to be here. We have to go get the game. So I can't exactly show you how to get it, but um, if you just search MGS Portable Ops um, ROM and go on any of those websites, you'll be able to find it. When you find the game, just make sure that the game version is ULUS. 10202. This is the US version of the game, and the cheats that I'm going to provide to increase the FPS uh, only work with the US version. I, I couldn't find a European version, so we're going to have to make do with that. So now that we have the game and um, we have the emulator, um, when you open the emulator up, you're going to have to go to games and browse and find the folder that you put your game in right and now the game should pop up like this over here now uh, you're going to want to right click on the game and go to game settings now this is all the settings for the game man that's loud this is the settings that I found work the best with this game. That's what I found on the forums and everything like that. So you're just going to want to copy these as best as you can. Controls. I recommend using a, a, a controller, but you can also use touch screen or your keyboard if you want. I'll just show you what I mapped to what. As you can see I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. And I have my keyboard for some emulator controls like fast forward and pause. Uh, load state and save state, pretty important. I'm toggling full screen. Okay, audio. I'm pretty sure I haven't changed anything here. Networking doesn't really uh, bother us because we're not playing online. Tools system. This is the important setting here. You're going to want to enable cheats. That's how we're going to increase this game's FPS above 20. Hit search. Okay, now we can watch the game. Now, once you launch the game, you're going to want to press uh, escape, deposit, and then go over to cheats. Um, and edit cheat file. Now, this is the cheat for the 60 FPS. This is the cheat for the 30 FPS. I'll have both of these linked in the description. You're just going to want to copy and paste exactly into the note like this. Then close it and then reload the emulator and it should pop up like this. I'm using 30 FPS, but you could also use 60 FPS. These are the best versions of the 
uh, increasing FPS cheat because some of the other versions cause glitches like not being able to lean on walls, grenade physics, things like that. The only issue with these cheats is that it makes your person's stamina drain faster than normal, which is why I'm running at 30 FPS instead of 60. So let's load into the game and I'll just demonstrate a little bit what the gameplay looks like. Let's just go on some random mission. All right. So I have my left analog stick for moving, right analog stick for moving the camera, and I have the config. Uh, I have configuration A, which is looking around with a D-pad. But the only caveat with this is that you're going to need to move around in the menus with the right stick, which you just get used to. So looking around with the right stick, moving with left stick. Um, X is for punch, A is to crawl, B for the interaction menu, Y for interaction, like leaning on walls. And I can show you real quick that um, the 60 FPS you can lean on walls as well. Uh, I might have to restart the game. Be right back. Okay, here we are with 60 FPS. And as you can see, I can still lean on walls and stuff. And like I said, the only problem is going to be the stamina bar. You're going to see how fast it drags down and pretty quick. I have a left bumper for auto aim and right bumper for first person view. That leaves two buttons, uh, the left trigger and the right trigger to do whatever you want. I just have my left trigger set to pause and my right trigger for fast forwarding, which I'll demonstrate in a second. So as you guys know, this game doesn't have a Fulton, so you have to manually drag the enemies back to the truck to extract them. So I have right trigger set to drag, to fast forward the game, so you can drag your people back to the truck much faster. Alrighty, that's all. And one more thing. Um, I do also have this list of cheats here for just regular cheats like max health, things like that. I'll put that in the description as well for anyone that wants to play around with that. But I think that's it for the video. If any of you guys have any issues, just uh, leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you guys out. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed playing this game because it is actually really good and the story is really good too. Alrighty guys, see you all later.